A bearish week in the markets. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade, and this is the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, January 10th, 2016. And we get rocked Friday. Market's down 1.1%, Diamond's down 1%, NASDAQ down 0.82%, Russell's down nearly 2%, Banks off nearly 2%, Financials off 1.5%, US dollar up 0.17%, Crude oil down 1%, Silver down 2.35%, Gold down 0.44% and the VIX higher by more than 5%. And here we are looking at the S&P daily charts. And this is the all important weekend edition. Thank you for all those who are new to us here at Grok Trade. We appreciate you watching. And here we're looking at the ETF called the Spider SPY, and this is on the S&P 500, 500 blue chip companies that we're looking at. For the week, we've been in a huge slide, but here's the deal. First thing I'm gonna do is go to a monthly chart. This monthly chart is a big one. Now remember, we are only just getting started in the month of January, but we have a huge significant problem. Let's talk about it. If you go back here to this blue line, we challenge it, and this is 2011. We have support, 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 three times, okay? Up, major support, four times. The fifth time so far, this has not proved to be support. We broke a major support trend line. And that could spell huge trouble going into the future. Now, down in your bottom right hand part of this video, click on high definition, HD, and click on full screen. That allows you to see this in all of our videos in great clarity. This monthly chart is a big one. Now I'm gonna blow this up. So for those using your cell phones or watching on any sort of portable device, I'll blow it up for you so you can really see this. We have this drop. This drop found an area of support. We rallied and we go back higher. This gives us this V shape. This is a swing low. This is the bottom of the swing low, the lowest closing price. This coming across right here is precisely the low that we hit on going on, ending out this last week. Now, remember, this is still a dynamic candlestick, meaning that it's still active, it's still moving, it has not gone static yet. So anything can happen at this point. This last time we were at this level, big rally straight north. That could happen yet again. And if so, we could come back up, closing above this major trend line, and that would heal the damage of this lower area of support being penetrated. And if it does rally back, you'll get this long, glorious shadow like we have here. See this? It go whoop, way back up here. Then you'll have this hammer type candlestick. So I'm going to go back to a weekly chart. Take a look at this. The week is done. We come across here, this area of support, we come across, that's precisely where we went for the week. We're right there. So if I go back and pull in some data on a weekly chart, this goes back to 2011. One, two, three, four. So this hit four times on the weekly chart. We come up here, five, six, six major 
times this trajectory, this lower trend line acted as major support. This week, boom, to the downside. Gang, the weekly chart now has been broken. That is a major, major bearish move and happened on big volume. The only saving grace that this thing possibly has at this moment is that this area, this area right here, acted as support two other times. Go at the beginning here or at the tail end of 2015. Support there, it bounced. Support here and it rallied. We are there again. The question is, will that area of support actually act and serve as a place for the markets to bounce? It certainly could, but th this is significant. We broke a major trend line. Bad, bad things could certainly happen right now. Okay. For you guys that know about our chart school, it's one of the best out there online. If you don't know about free online trading education, go to the chart school because it is a dandy. We give you live charts that you can put your ticker symbols on. It's some cool, cool stuff. But look at this. Up, down, up, down. Look at this. M. It's an M. It's a double top. Right there is your double top. M for murder. But it's only confirmed if the trend line is broken, which it is but also confirm if the swing low between the two swing highs and that make the double top is broken. And we are at that area. Next week, I, I think that we're going to stall out at, at this area, at this level where we ended, or we're going to get a significant pop or a significant drop, meaning this, this is an area of support. So things that hit support can bounce off of support and it usually means business when it does. It usually starts to rally pretty aggressively. Or if support's broken, it's a free fall to the downside. So this is a, a pivotal point going into next week that we have to watch. I did not pull the trigger to go short yet because of that area of support that is so big on the monthly and on the weekly. I wanted to make sure that the bears were in full control heading to the south and before I pulled the trigger going bearish because if this thing starts to pop on Monday, rally north on some big volume, Chances are I'm going to pick up longs, but I don't think I'll hold them for very long at all. We could go up or have a huge area of resistance on the daily chart, and then it should retrace. Here's the daily chart. The daily chart, we had this falling wedge that did get broken, so this line is now gone. And if we pull in some more data, you'll see this big, big, big massive triangle huge triangle we're heading down to this area and I, I could extend this out a bit more and this is what we're dealing with very interesting times but the last week has just been brutal and the markets are in dire trouble and as we, if we start to break these levels, which I fully expect that we will, you're going to hear me uh, bring, breaking out the huge warnings yet again. I've been giving you guys warnings. I already called the top um, publicly, um, I think, August 21st or 23rd. August 23rd, if you go to YouTube and um, <clears throat> said, hey, this is the top is in, the top is in. So far, I have been, I've nailed it. I called the 2007, 2008 market crash before it happened. And I'm on record saying that this market is in dire trouble. So if you like the video, like it, share it too.